I've completed work now on my Depron foam wing jig. Give you a look at this thing. So you can see here there's two pieces of sheet metal taken from a vent pipe, uh, a stove pipe, and this they're bent into an airfoil shape. I cut a piece of wood, originally thinking that I would lock it down with lock nuts or, or what I actually found is that because I'm using such thick like 26 gauge metal uh, that there's really no need you don't even have to use washers to lock this down uh, I simply take some screws I don't know if you can see this I've got four holes and those of course protrude uh, through the top and then take your Defron wing this is actually a paper cutout of the Taub wing um, I'll use this as a template put that in there and you can see I've got a grid in here so that I'm sure that I'm putting it in properly and then once the wing is in there Push this down so that the top piece goes over these bolts. And then you can take uh, wing nuts. way but you put all four of these wing nuts on and from the side you can see here now that the top sheet and the bottom sheet are touching each other so this is sandwiched down really really tightly in there and the wing will get that under camber once it's baked in the oven and that will be permanent and again you take the wing nuts off So this is a little tricky to get this off. Uh, the easiest way to do it is just to take a screwdriver and just unscrew these screws uh, and then the piece will pop off. This will take a while to do so I'm just going to turn the camera off for a second and turn it back on when I'm done. And there it goes, it just pops open see it retains its shape and even if I even if I pull this up it doesn't matter because the airfoil shape is preserved this this sheet metal is not going anywhere and so that'll come out baked with a nice under camber and in fact I've designed this thing so that the trailing edge of the Taub wing uh, won't be in the jig and it'll actually have a nice under camber with just a little bit of um, up to it and this will be put in on an, uh, an incidence that will have this piece here flat with the fuselage should fly right that's the way the real one looked and it seemed to be a very stable flying platform for the Germans uh, so hopefully the scale model will work just like the real one did and we'll find out when we made it Okay, so that's the wing jig, and uh, I'm going to cut out the wings now and put them in the oven. I'll probably do that on the weekend when my son is here so he can take part in the fun of doing that. Uh, so this project will sit here until Saturday. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.